what is up guys this is your boy superior sim and today i have more information regarding the sims 4 if you guys like news updates and discussions please hit the sub button and if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button also remember to hit that notification bell and set it to personalized so you know when i'm uploading videos and of course i do have an affiliate link with instant gaming if you click the link in the description and type in sims you'll see a bunch of deals for the sims 4 and sims 3 a bunch of other games as well guys a lot of the expansion packs are on a cheaper discounted price love struck is 20 dollars growing together is 20 dollars i've seen a lot of you guys purchase for rent on my link and that is like 20 dollars as well and again even if you are in a different country the discount still translates to whatever your currency is so other packs like high schoolers high schoolers is one of my favorite packs i know it's not everyone's favorite because it is bare bones but that pack is also like super cheap again all these packs are justified for 20 dollars. i would buy them so again link in the description if you guys want to take advantage of that and once again guys thank you so much for the sales all i'm gonna say is i know this intro is really long all i'm gonna say is giveaways coming soon um uh, starting i want to say next month i have a giveaway plan for you guys because i want to give back to this community because you guys helped me out so much but yeah with that being said let's get into the content okay so heading on over to twitter the sims post is saying simmers we have so much to share about the future of the sims and the upcoming 25th birthday celebration a film creator kits and the sims creator program and much more future is plum bob green so yeah there's been a lot of information that's come out again we've talked about the whole situation with the sims 5 so i'm just going to summarize all this because i'm pretty sure by now you guys know what's been going on with the sims so the first thing is the movie so they said hollywood rumors are true they said they're very excited to share their partnership with amazon mg studios our team is working on a film based on the sims Kate Heron will direct as well co-write with Bryony Redman. Lucky Chap and Vertigo Entertainment were produced alongside the Sims team with, with Heron and Ready Executive Producing. I know I said that wrong. X S Executive. I, I know how to say it, but I just I don't know. My brain is just like turned off. It's still too early to share more about the movie, but stay tuned for updates as we mark our 25th birthday next year. I find it very interesting that they're talking about this, like the Sims franchise itself. Like they're celebrating that, but they're not celebrating the Sims 4's 10th birthday. They still have not said anything about that, which is kind of weird to me. But yeah, uh, a Sims movie. Now again, we've talked about the Sims movie a while back. I actually did a skit uh, at the end of that video to make fun of like a Sims movie. But yeah, apparently on Twitter, shout out to Pop Crave. They said EA's vice president tells Variety that the Sims film adaption will include a lot of lore. You'll see a lot of the Sims universe come to life and you'll see a lot of the classic experiences that our players have in games come to life in the movie there will be freezer bunnies i'm sure i'll pull without a ladder somewhere in there but we haven't finalized any of those details so again a lot of people have been speculating how this movie is going to be produced like are they going to be talking in english are they be talking simlish is it going to be like kind of like an original story or is it going to be like really lore heavy so again they did say that it is going to have a lot of lore from the games and of course like references from players again i have no issue with the movie i just find it kind of just stupid because it's it's sims if they manage to pull this off and it is a very fun entertaining movie i will gladly do a review for you guys if you guys want that um you know and very uh i'm very interested to see how this works but yeah a movie is confirmed for the sims which is which is really hilarious now they say allow us to proudly introduce the sims 4 creator kits designed and produced entirely by creators in collaboration with the sims creativity has long been a core value for the sims franchise and we obsess overseeing showcasing the incredible talent and artistry that lives within our tight-knit community this push to expand the ways we support creators has led us to the sims 4 creator kits these kits are designed and built by the community creators to create new collections featuring unique styles and fresh storytelling potential. These creator kits will mark the first time in a full collection of in-game assets have been crafted by a creator officially published by the Sims development team, making them available for all players. For the Sims for players who create variety and customization and design, look for the Sims for creator kits to start rolling out in November 2024. So that's this year across our Sims channels and available alongside our current collection of kits. This is a big step forward in delivering creator mode content that's console friendly and curated with safeguards that will expand your game with more on trend aesthetics and styles. We've been working with some familiar faces for a while now to elevate the work and allow their creations to reach even more of you to enjoy. Stand by for more updates. I think for a while now, a lot of people in the community have been saying that they need to work with like more CC creators or just people or just people involved in the Sims community, whether that's like through Twitch or if they make content, because obviously those people are very creative. They obviously have an eye for this stuff. I mean, I feel like recently starting getting more Simmers to help them work on their builds for, you know, like different packs. So I feel like this just makes sense. And again and again a lot of the kits that received like, like bro the urban homage kit from ebonics was one of the best kits i've ever seen 
and this is coming from somebody who hates kids now me personally i don't like kids i think they're a waste of money i've had a lot of people tell me in the comments that from their perspective kids are like a really good thing because again if you are a console player you don't really have that much options to pick from or if you're someone who's just strictly a builder in the sims 4 this is perfect for you because it just gives you more stuff to build with and you don't have to spend too much money like on a for example like game pack or like an ep so from that perspective i totally understand why you guys like like kids i think because again i'm a person who loves gameplay like i i like cats as well but gameplay is like my main thing i don't care for like building in the sims 4 as much not to say we don't need them like obviously we need really cool builds to play in i think gameplay kits would have been really amazing to add in the sims 4. um i think there was a lot of potential for gameplay kits i don't think the bust the dusty uh bunny kit was like the best gameplay kit obviously but again it was the first in its genre so obviously over time these gameplay kits would have improved and gotten better i would have loved to see something kind of slimmer to the sims 3 store where you have like these premium gameplay kits or objects that we get for like five dollars and it just adds more gameplay to the sims 4 because again the gameplay in the sims 4 is lacking compared to the build stuff it's no secret that the sims 4 caters to builders they play favoritism with builders so i would love to see just more gameplay kids now heading back to twitter real quickly the official sims did post saying greet your next generation with a charming nursery filled with whimsy and the six sand collaborated sims 4 story nursery kit or let your artistry flourish and re-explore your creativity in the sims 4 artist studio kit i'm not really tapped into the uh custom content and and mod scene but i know this is a very big person i've seen them floating around on my timeline so yeah i really am happy for six sam but yeah six sam did work on the storybook nursery kit which i heard a lot of people really vibe with apparently from what i heard there is a lot of lore with the nursery kit paying homage to the previous games which i think is really cool now heading back onto the blog post i think this is a blog post i don't know what this is this is the Sims Creator Program, how we are collaborating with global creators. This is the Sims Creator Program is now Alex Evolution, how we work with both established and up and coming creators and around the world. With this official program, creators will gain access to a range of exclusive perks. Oh, okay. Including early access to upcoming packs, direct communication with fellow creators and the Sims team. Wait, what? What is this? Freeze. This is this is this the Creator Network? Yeah, it is. Oh, they've changed the name. Is it called the Creator Program or has it always been called that? They said free swag. <laughs> oh my God. They said free swag. What is that? Opportunities to collaborate and more. I'm assuming when they say opportunities to collaborate, that's just another cold word for we'll pay you money if you, you know, like work for us. Um, again, if you guys don't know, there are people in this program, not this program, but obviously people who get sponsored by EA who get paid to talk about packs. I've covered this in a different video. Now, let me finish this up before I say my thoughts. They said, we're looking for creators who regularly create original Sims content across social platforms and various types of creators who might be new to the Sims, including those who are crafting mods or custom content or nurturing communities across various platforms. Whether you're a more established voice or emerging creator, we welcome you to apply to join us. Read more here to learn how we're working to better serve creators, streamline onboarding and more. This is very interesting because I feel like on the one hand, like, yes, you do get the opportunity to work with like the Sims, but the problem with the creator program, and I've been saying this a lot in other videos, in my opinion, I feel like you become compromised. And what I mean by that, for example, is if you do a review on a pack, how can I trust that you're you're being honest and you're not just saying what EA wants to hear? Because you know, if you say something bad, EA might not give you early access to like the next pack. Um, there was a whole situation with LGR. LGR said that they want him to like work closely with them and he said he like denied it because he didn't want to like compromise his opinions or something like that i don't know if that was before or after they stopped giving him packs but they basically stopped giving him free packs because he was like honest about his opinion like he didn't think the packs were like i don't know justified for the price or whatever and i mean it's true a lot of the packs i feel like aren't justified for the price like they're selling like they're upselling game packs as expansions for $40. And these are at best $20 game packs. But yeah, I've always been very vocal about the uh, uh, Creator Network program. Again, like they do reviews and they like will say like one little bad thing about the pack and then continue to say all this positive shit. And I feel like that's not really a review. Toxic positivity thing is a very real thing especially on twitter in the sims community and i feel like it's one of the most like disgusting things because the moment you try to criticize something and give honest thoughts and opinions people will be like oh why don't you play something else why are you negative 
oh play the sims 3 it's like bro shut the hell up bro because at the end of the day like i want the game to be a fun game but the only way it can be is if we speak up on the issues this whole program man i feel like it's just a way to control people and their thoughts like you you don't get genuine reviews anymore i don't know guys if you guys want to join this program because again you're trying to become a content creator um i i personally would just be very just self-aware when you do stuff like this because i've noticed a lot of creators in this program act very weird they stay quiet when a lot of stuff happens they don't speak on the issues not to say they don't ever speak on it but it's very rare you'll see them like open up about how they feel about the game um and they like to deflect and just say these very weird things like i've, I've seen it with so many different creators people that i follow that i subscribe to that i respect it, it's hard to watch them act like this and i feel like this program kind of just um silences you a bit or it makes you move a certain way to where again if you're not saying what they want to hear you're not going to get another opportunity to review their packs or they'll start to notice like okay this is someone that we can't really trust to give us a good review because they're they're honest so we went over this already the sims labs is like something where they can have simmers basically like test out their products they also said there's like sneak peeks of like what's coming so obviously you kind of get like early access to see what's coming for like the future of the sims i don't know what this footage is from i think this is from project grenade all they say is all footage is pre-alpha i will blow it up for you guys if you guys want to see that better i mean it looks cool it kind of looks like the sims 4 but just like i guess better bigger i don't know like it looks interesting and then also they mentioned the my sims cozy bundle i know a lot of you guys said like you've never played my sims or you weren't excited for my sims you thought it was just kind of weird and that will be releasing november 19th 2024 so now here they talk about project renee they say continuing its development alongside other exciting new projects within the sims franchise project renee is focused on building ways for friends to meet connect share while playing together in an all new world there will be a small invite only playtest for renee this fall 2024 given an early look at multiplayer experience that explores joining friends and others play it at a shared location sign up for the chance to play that to sims lab here so again this is where it comes back to like you know if you sign up for the sims lab you get early access to all this like sim stuff um if they pick you obviously to kind of like test out and stuff so you're basically like a play tester for them and then i don't think there's anything from sims mobile i don't think they've really talked about like the console controls again i've heard that the console controls are still an issue no one talks about console anymore i feel like console definitely needs um some love and i hope they do fix the controls i don't know what's going on with that the last thing i heard was eak said he was going to bring it up to the higher ups um and it was like one of the options on the table i don't, I don't know what table he's talking about i don't know like what, what a table has to do fix the console controls but there are, it's been crickets and i've and i've heard from you guys that it's still fucked up so yeah it's it's pretty bad um they did say since mobile was basically cooked they said that there will be no more updates for Sims Mobile, which is not funny. I'm not I'm not trying to laugh at, at that because it is bullshit. I know there's still been like patches, I think, for Sims Mobile, but I know there's not like any major updates. They said they're just going to be like recycling past like events. So there hasn't really been any talks about Sims Mobile from what I've read so far. And then they talk about Sims Free Play. I don't really care for that. Um, but yeah, they've been talking about Sims Free Play and I something about a new region inspired by mountain side towns so there's that but yeah they said here celebrating to the best of the sims past present and future vadish simmers i don't know what that means um and then of course we do have a new patch update that came out yesterday it says silly silly simmers this update includes a range of improvements such as expanding the options to romance goals and vampires and love trucking adding the ability to preview songs with the safer streaming is toggled i thought that was already an option but i did find it weird that it wasn't this as part of our continued commitment to tackling technical issues please follow the sims direct for the most up-to-date information on the deployment of these fixes as always if you have any issues please share with us on answers hq and again guys i'll leave this in the link in the description there's been a bunch of fixes for seasons high school years going together love struck now with the patch update we also got a new base game update that includes 30 new items and 650 new variants so there's just a bunch of different swatches for different types of objects which is really cool um it's nice to see more of like a rainbow color and not just blue and green because again i've said that so many times where i feel like the sims favors like more blue green colors uh in the game so it's nice to see this different variety of colors 
Now, lastly, The Sims did post on Twitter saying, get ready for the upcoming Reaper Rewards event. Starting September 24th, befriend the Grim, complete a series of quests and unlock rewards as you go. So looking at the uh, news article, it says, work with the Grim to discover the secrets of Ambrosia, earn event points and unlock bone chilling rewards. It says get ready for a free limited time event where you'll need to venture into live mode to participate. So this is definitely different from the last logins reward event where you just have to log in and get the rewards. This is something that you actually have to play in live mode. They say the Grim Reaper is reaching out to you, but don't be afraid to answer since it seems Grimms wants your help. And the best part, you'll be rewarded for your efforts throughout the event with one being a brand new lot challenge, Scare Seeker, where Sims will get excited instead of scared while on the lot. How does it work? Open live mode with an existing or new household after a short wait, then the the Grim Reaper will call upon you. The event will run for eight weeks with two exciting quests each week. The journey begins by assisting Grim with researching Ambrosia, a special gourmet dish that can lift any sim spirits. As the weeks progress, you'll continue to unlock street kits of Ambrosia and eventually learn how to cook it. The more quests you complete, the more event points and rewards you'll learn. So that's interesting. Like I know if Ambrosia, you have to like basically have like level 10 fishing, I think level 10 cooking. Um, I, is there like a faster way to learn it because of this event reward? I'm kind of confused on that, but that would be really cool. Cause again, with Ambrosia, you can bring back your Sims from the dead. So, so they said one, make sure you're online, log into your EA account Two, enter live mode and you'll see the first pair of quests, which start with a pop-up in live mode. You can access the event screen by clicking on the event icon. This is three, earn event points by completing quests and goals. As you earn event points, you'll be able to claim new rewards. Four, claim your rewards throughout the event screen in the main menu or live mode by selecting claim. Note, you must be in live mode to claim consumable rewards. It's number five, claim rewards will be available in build mode, create a sim or your sims in the inventory. You can filter to view event rewards with event rewards filter under the special category in both create a sim and build mode. For more help with claiming rewards, check out EA's help article. Six, each week two new quests will be available. Complete these quests to earn more event points and unlock new rewards. Seven, the Reaper's Rewards will then have six weeks of quests and two extra weeks at the end, so there's plenty of time to catch up and complete it. Claim the Reaper's Rewards to create a goth chic sim who revels in a good scare or just enjoy a chance to get to know the Grim a little better. Rest assured, your claimed awards are stored on your EA account, so you don't have to need to worry about losing them. I know there was an issue with their previous login reward event where it was locked to like a computer or something. So I know people were saying once they like would switch from either console or PC, they wouldn't have the rewards. Now that week one, we get the Grim phone to listen to your favorite tunes, uh, support airings of the Intimate Demise, and we have the Scare Seeker Lot Challenge. So you get a lot in week one, which is pretty cool. We week two, we get the Trad Goth Jeans, Green Lady's Lost Tomb, and this tome allows you to gain skills in cooking, gourmet cooking, and fishing all at once. So you need these three skills to make the Ambrosia. So this obviously helps you do that a little bit more quicker. So that makes sense. I see what they're trying to do. Week three, we get the Trad Goth Buckle Boots and we get the Grimm's Cruiser Bicycle. So yeah, that stuff looks kind of cool. Week four, we get the Life and Death Tattoo. The portrait of the Lady Ms. Me Alacron Shallot in the Garden is True of Peace haunting art. Uh, so yeah, you get like this artwork and then the tattoo that is on Bella Goth. Week six, your sim, week six, your sim has bags under the new prowling pepper eyes and catch up with the eternal Z's with the casket of quite repulse. But apparently this casket works the same way as the ones we have in the Sims for vampires. And then of course we get some new eyes. I mean, they look okay. And then it's also a limited time bonus collectibles. So yeah, this is like kind of like the new reward event stuff. Um, I know some people are kind of mixed on this stuff. I really don't really care i guess because at the end of the day it is free stuff but i know for some people who complain with the first one they said they don't want to always feel pressure to log in because they don't always play the sims every single day um but yeah some of, again some of these again this is very strange because some of these fixes were on their previous patch updates and i guess they weren't fixed so now they're back here again but yeah with that being said this is all the information for today if you guys made it to the end of this video i appreciate you thank you so much for watching this has been your boy, Sophia Simmer. Stay cool, stay awesome, stay simming, and have a good day.